Good morning! Today our goal is to calculate the efficiency for a motor for several different masses. Let's watch the video. And so there's our motor. And the goal is to determine the efficiency of that motor while lifting an object. The motor is powered by three D-cell batteries. Now a motor converts electrical energy into potential energy. And so the question is, how efficient is it at converting electrical energy into potential energy? That's our goal today. To measure electrical energy, we'll need to measure voltage. That multimeter is set to measure voltage. In addition, we'll also have to measure current. That multimeter is set to measure current. Now we need voltage and current to determine power. However, that's not electrical energy. In addition to power, we'll have to determine the time it takes for the motor to lift the object. For potential energy, we'll have to know the distance that the motor lifts the object through. For every trial today, it'll always be 50 centimeters or 0 0.50 meters. In addition, we'll have to measure the mass. And so let's start off with that. Please record these five different masses. These are the masses today that we're going to use to determine the efficiency of the motor. And here's the table I'd like you to complete today. Please copy the title. Please copy the units for the headings. And notice the headings. Mass, slow motion time, voltage and current. Notice for slow motion time, I'd like you to complete four trial runs. So here's the data for the 11.86 gram mass. Notice I've rotated the camera by an angle of 90 degrees. It's easier to see the meter stick this way and it's also easier to see when the mass hits the 30 centimeter mark and the 80 centimeter mark. So you're going to start your stopwatch at the 30 centimeter mark. You're going to stop the stopwatch at the red arrow, the 80 centimeter mark. And in total, that's a distance of 50 centimeters. In addition, you'll be doing this four different times. So I'll play the video for you now. Start. And stop. So please complete four trials with your stopwatch. And notice the video was recorded in slow motion. We'll deal with that later on. To record voltage and current, I used a second camera. Let's watch the video. This video is not recorded in slow motion, it's recorded in real time. Now, it may be a little challenging to see that in real time. And so what you should do is play the video frame by frame. What I mean by that is to use the period key. That moves the video forward by one frame. Or to use the comma key. That moves the video backward by one frame. I'll show you what I mean. Now here I've recorded this frame by frame. And this is something you could do with any video on YouTube. Now when you play the video frame by frame, you'll notice that the most consistent voltage is 4.28 volts and the most consistent current is 0.16 amps. So for your first data point, after playing that video frame by frame, that's what you should come up with for voltage and current. So there's the first row of data filled out for you. Of course, you should also complete the four slow motion trial times. Now before we continue the experiment, you may have noticed that the voltage drops significantly. Prior to turning on the motor, it was 4.58 volts. But then, 
while the experiment was running, it was only 4.28 volts. So the question is, why is there this voltage drop? Well, the problem is the current itself and the internal resistance of the batteries. Every battery has some internal resistance. What does that mean? Well, as the current increases, the effect of the internal resistance on the overall voltage increases. So the more current there is, the greater drop in voltage there will be due to the internal resistance. And here we have a drop of around 0.3 volts. And this happens because of the internal resistance of the battery. All right, here's our next data point, the 22.94 gram mass. Here comes the video. Get ready with your stopwatch. Here we go right now. Remember to start. Now at the green arrow and stop at the now at the red arrow. Please complete four trials. Here comes the voltage and the current. Remember this is in real time. Remember to play it back frame by frame, the period key moves the video forward by one frame and the comma key moves the video backward by one frame. Here's the next data point, 33.8 grams. Get ready with your stopwatch. Remember four trials. And here's the voltage and current. Again, use frame by frame to determine the most consistent voltage and the most consistent current. Here's the next data point, 44.59 grams. Get ready with your stopwatch. Start your stopwatch right now at the 30 centimeter mark and stop the watch at the 80 centimeter mark. Here's the voltage and current for that data point. Again, if you play it frame by frame, it's easier to determine the voltage and current. Here's a 61.10 gram data point. Get ready with your stopwatch. Remember, always four trial times. Here's the voltage and current for this data point. Once again, please use the comma key and the period key to advance the video one frame at a time, either forward or backward, to get the most consistent voltage and current. So at this point, you should have completed this entire table. Now we're going to take that table and process the data to ultimately determine the final column, which is the percentage efficiency. Here are the formulas to assist us. To get the average time, we need to take the average slow motion time and divide by 8. This is because the video increases the length of time by a factor of 8 when we record things in slow motion. Power is the product of current and voltage. Input energy is the product of power and average time. And output energy is the mass multiplied by 9.8, the acceleration due to gravity, multiplied by the height that it was lifted by, always 50 centimeters or 0 0.50 meters. And here's our final formula for percentage efficiency. It's output energy, or more commonly called useful output energy, 
times 100% divided by the input energy. So hopefully you enjoyed today's lab activity. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.